My name is Jean-Paul Edouard Monique. It's a bit of a mouthful. And the first day of school, my, uh, my, uh, my room leader was uh, electing my band, uh, my, sorry, my bed, giving me my room and my bed number because it was boarding school. And he couldn't pronounce my name. He called me Jean Paul. And I thought, I'm not going to go for school being called Jean. You know, my name is Jean. And so I tried to tell him and he said, John. I said, no, no, John either. I want, I want Jean. And he said, Bluey, bed three. And, and that was it. What do you used to like to do? Like, do you play football? Or do you like to yeah, to music? football. The first thing that he would was like, wow, Bluey, hey, you know, do you play? Do you, what, what position do you play? I'm, I'm, I'm a goalkeeper. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, oh great, we, we needed a goalkeeper, yeah, you, know, it's like, goalkeeper. you know, so in my, in my blue suit that I was wearing at the time, <laughs> off to the football pitch and, and tore a hole in my, in, in, in my knee, yeah, yeah, trying to kind of dive and stop the ball and it was very much a sports and music thing for me. I, I, ne I never paid attention to any classes and uh, anybody, anybody watching this interview, please, if there's any young ones, uh, don't, 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 do the, don't do the same because I kind of half regret it. It's but. quite... Uh, uncanny because it was all about music and football for me too. <laughs> yeah, I used to play for school and like forward. Yeah. All right. Um, so if I had to make you choose music or football, music was my thing. Music was my thing since I was five years old. I knew I'd be playing music. Was it always the guitar for you since you were five? Or? It's it's anything I could hit, anything I could strum, anything that I could I, I, I could make a noise out of. The guitar isn't being, it, it is a means to an end for me. I always saw it as a currency from five years old. But tell me more about how um, Incognito's first uh, big break was. Well, with Incognito, I'd been in several other bands. I'd, been, I'd formed a band called Freeze. I'd formed a band called Light of the World with, 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 with some of my friends. What I found was that those bands were gangs. And they will fight with each other, even now, mm. that they're broken up. Some of them don't talk, you know. So I, I formed what is uh, the first jazz funk uh, music collective in the UK. You know, it wasn't a band, it was a music collective. Incognito was that, was meant to be a calling card for me. Mm. You know, I always tell people this, the same story and I don't mind repeating it. I was the kid who sat in class, who drew a picture, that the teacher slapped me across the head because I'm supposed to be writing an English essay. And that drawing was a little kind of stick figures, all right, of my ideal band. <laughs> and she came over, slapped me across the head, and tore it up, threw, it, threw the paper out of the window, like this, you know? And uh, whatever happened was that that went into the world and came back to me because the only person I didn't get a chance to work with in that, in that drawing was James Jameson. <laughs> 